Shabbat Shalom. It's wonderful to be together, whether we're in person now or in the cyberspace world. So we're going to sing Hine Matov Umanaim Shevarachim Gam Yachad, how wonderful it actually is. And then I'm going to do the sermon, and this is for our service on June 4th, Friday, June 4th, Shabbat. And then we'll do a separate section, which are um, new musical selections for you for an actual worship service at home. Welcome. How wonderful it is to be together again. The Parsha for this Shabbat is Shalach or Shalach Lecha. Moses sends 12 spies, many of you might know this, into the land of Israel to report on the people and the country and what the Israelites might expect when they actually get there. They take 40 days, there's always that significance of 40, and return with grapes, a pomegranate, a fig, and then 10 of the 12 speak about how abundant the land is, and they are very kind of excited, but then they plant fear, some seeds of fear. And then the other two of the 12, Joshua and Caleb, they are actually more positive, but yet the people are frightened. The 10 say that the inhabitants are giants and they are warriors much greater than the Israelites are. And then Joshua and Caleb, they insist, well, okay, they may seem like giants, but guess what? We can conquer them. We can fulfill God's command, God's decree. The people moan, they cry, they wail. They'd rather return to Egypt than go on ahead to who knows what could be happening. So guess what happens? God then threatens to wipe out the children of Israel, but then Moses goes again and he pleads to God, intercedes on the Israelites' behalf, and then gets God to relent a little bit. This has happened before. Do you remember the incident with the golden calf and the first set of tablets? And we had the manna coming from the sky, and that wasn't enough. We wanted to eat meat, so much so that quail was coming from our nostrils. We were an impatient people, sometimes still are, distrusting, and we were coming from a point of weakness, of fear, of having very little faith. Moses always has to intercede on our behalf, like one parent having to control the other, or co-workers when you have maybe one person that has to go to a supervisor and intercede on behalf of another worker. Have any of you ever been in that position before? Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't work at all. In this case, God announces all those who left Egypt would not enter the land of Israel except for Joshua and Caleb. Why? They were the positive ones out of the 12. Two, a whole new generation would have to be born without the slave mentality 
Interestingly enough, without having actually seen all of the wondrous miracles that God had done, 40 years would pass before they could actually enter the promised land, long enough for that entire generation to die out in the desert. Additionally, in this parsha, we get Moses instructing the Israelites regarding the necessity to set just a little dough aside when you're baking the challah as an offering to God, and other offerings as well, meal offerings, wine, oil, and stressing again the importance of Sabbath observance, how to treat strangers, and the laws of the tzitzit. God instructs to place those fringes on the four corners of the talus. We talked about this at Jeremy's bar mitzvah, uh, just the last time we were all together. So all those little knots, they add up to 613 commandments. They're placed on four corners of the tali. Why? So that everywhere we go in the world, all four corners of the world, we are reminded of how we should behave and to take those teachings with us wherever we go. We are a people of ritual, and memory. We are commanded to remember, but we are also commanded to forgive. Too many times in history, and even today, we are victims of abuse and violence, yet we are supposed to forgive. We are meant to remember the wrongs that are done against us throughout time, but yet we are meant to do our teshuva and high holy days and grant forgiveness to those who have wronged us as well as ask for it. Throughout our wanderings, Moses was constantly asking God to forgive us. Sometimes he was successful, and sometimes we were punished anyway. Why? So that we would learn. Without some consequences, there would never be order, and God likes order. Think of the Tu B'Shvat and the Passover Seder. Seder actually meaning order. Passover, a complete time of remembering and retelling the very story that generation, our ancestors, forgot. The generation that didn't get in because they had very little faith and had forgotten the miraculous deeds that God had done for them, proving time and again that God was actually with us, by our side, guiding us and carrying us toward the promise and the destiny divined for us. The struggles that we faced thousands of years ago are still with us today. How do we find faith when rockets and violence threaten our existence? Where is this promised land flowing with milk and honey, pomegranates and figs that was truly meant to be ours? Are the giants and the warriors out there greater than us? What about the commandment? how we are supposed to treat strangers, because we were all once strangers in a foreign land. The violence and the abuse that we see all over the world is in direct violation of most faiths and what their doctrines decree. We are all one people inhabiting this planet, just as we speak of and we sing in the Hine Matov, brothers and sisters, and yes, even in the Middle East, cousins. COVID taught us that we are all vulnerable, and at the end of the day, or our time here together, it is faith, love, and kindness that we all collectively need. None of us are immune, no matter where we might dwell. When God commanded that we tie these fringes to the four corners of our prayer shawl, we were reminded that wherever we live, wherever we go, the four corners of the world, we should remember the commandments, behave in an orderly fashion, respect laws and guidance and the rules of order that not only created the universe, but us, the Torah. We all have Torah inside of us. We should all love our neighbor as ourselves, and we should all treat others the way we want to be treated. Is that really being done around the world? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It is not rocket science. But if we keep going the way we are going, we are going to need rockets not to kill, but to transport us off this planet into the next to create another world maybe better than what we're doing to this one and each other. We're here now. 
God in our Torah is guiding us, reminding us there will always be people who see the dark side of things. There will always be people who will see the glass as half empty rather than half full. There will always be people who plant seeds of fear rather than faith. And there may even be giants and warriors greater than us wishing to do us harm. The question is, will we have the faith that God will be with us? As constant as the seat seat on the fringe tully nodded to the 613 meets vote, positive and negative, thou shalt or thou shalt not do something. We need to act in ways that are holy and have faith in ourselves that we have what it takes to persevere and overcome anything that comes our way. These seats see the reminders to do the mitzvot, our Torah, providing order and the formula to get us out of the chaos and into the light toward that which is promised, was, is and still will be. There will always be obstacles and naysayers to get in our way. Do we push through and cross over like our Lech Lecha text states in our Shabbat morning prayers? Progress and success rarely comes without a certain amount of sacrifice. And yes, too, faith. Faith. Faith in ourselves and faith in something greater. Let us be people of faith. Let us plant seeds that foster growth rather than fear. And let us be willing to embrace the promise that is always there for us if we are willing to reach for it. May it be God's will. May we step up and reach for that promise. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome. We're going to start with a wordless nagoon to Yedi Nefesh, which you can find on page 128. Heart's delight, source of mercy, draw your servant into your arms. I leap like a deer to stand in awe before you. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Once again, Shabbat Shalom, and now we're going to turn to Lecha Dodi, and if you will go in your Sidurim, remember they go right to left, page 138, and we're going to do the chorus, verse 1 and verse 9. <laughs> Oh. 
There's a lot of ruach. And so now, if you will turn to, we have page 144, the Hatsi Kaddish. We're separating our Kabbalat Shabbat portion, our warm-up spiritually, from our official call to worship, the Baruch Hu, which will be coming following the Hatsi Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit gadal shemei raba ve'almah divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chai echon v'yom echon v'chai yedech v'yit Yisrael v'adala v'adala v'vizman karevim eroh amen v'hen shemei raba mevarach l'alam lo me'omaya yit barach yit barach Amen. <laughs> standing, please be seated. And now, let's read together on the top of page 147. There is one who sings a song of his own life, finding everything within himself or herself. There is one who leaves a circle of herself or his self and sings the songs of their people. There is one whose voice rings with the song of humanity, hoping for the highest perfection. And there is one who rises even higher uniting with all creatures, with all worlds, filling the universe with song. Nevarech, let us bless. In our evening prayer, our Ma'ariv, our Avin, is on page 148. And let us read together on the bottom of page 149 first. This is an hour of change, and within it we stand uncertain on the border of light. Shall we draw back or cross over? Where shall our hearts turn? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? This is the hour of change, and within it we stand quietly on the border of light. What lies before us? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher bivaro ma'ari v'aravim v'hochma poteach she'arim. Uvidvuna meshaneh itin v'machalif et hazmanim. V'mesader et hakochavim v'mishmerotehem barakiel kertsono. Borayom velayla golel or mitne choshech, ve choshech mitne or. Umavir yom me vila. Umavdil bin yom me vila. Adonai sabaot shmo. Elachai lekaya. Tamidim lafaleinu l'alam va'ed Baruch atah Adonai Amari v'aravi Mahavad Olam on page 150. Let's read as the music is being played by our fabulous musicians on the bottom of page 150. We think about what these words mean. 
of Ahavad Olam. Everlasting love you offered your people, Israel, by teaching us Torah and Mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever, day and night. We will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Yisrael. If you will turn to the Shema on page 152 and 153, if you'd like to be seated and go into that cocoon of your own being where you can connect to the divine within, please do that. If you'd like to stand, please do that as well. Deep breath in and deep breath out. I don't know. Shem Kevel, Shem Kevel. 
our Vea Hafta, where we are commanded to pass this love of Judaism, of our culture, our heritage, our ancestry, our precepts, texts, our Torah, from generation to generation, the door by door, page 154. Asher hotsekti echem ne eretz mitzrayim lehiot lachem lelohin ani adonai lohechem adonai lohechem emet. And now, if you will turn in your sidurim, we're going to go forward to page one fifty seven, the text right before the mi chamocha, and let's read on the bottom of the page. In a world torn by violence and pain. A world far from wholeness and peace. Give us courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May the earth reveal your justice and your love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Yisrael did, singing on the shores of the sea. The Michamocha can be found on the next page, page 158. Dance around if you'd like. Michamocha! <laughs>
musicians. If you will turn to the Amidah on page 164, if you'd like to stand as the ark is open, and it will continue on the next several pages. Adonai sephatai titahu fiyagi tehilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Velohe avotenu imotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Velohe Leah Ha El Hagadol Hagivor Vahanora El El Yom Gomea Chasudim Tovim Bekonye Hakol Bezacher Chaste Avot Vimahot Vemedvi Geula Lib Nevene Hem Lamon Shemo Veahava Melech Ozer Moshia Umagin Baruch Atah Adonai Magin Avraham Bezrat Saram Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai Mechaye Hakol Atah Rav Lehoshi Amorid Hatah Mechalkel chayin bechesed, mechayin meitin ben rachamin rabin. So mech noflin berofei cholin, umatir asurim. Umekayin em in a toe, lishen e afar. Michamacha bal givurot, umido melach. Melech mimi to mechayeh, umat mi af yeshua, benem anatal achayot hako. Baruch atah Adonai mechaye ha-metim Atah kadosh yishim ha kadosh yikadoshim b'chol yom Yehalalu chasel Baruch atah Adonai ha-el ha-kadosh And now we're going to turn to the Mishaberach where we are going to offer up prayers for those who are in need of a Rafu Shlema of Body and Spirit, page 371 in your Sidreen, 371. And if you'd like to say their names aloud in your uh, own homes or here in your room, wherever you may be, or in the very quiet recesses of your own soul, as we ask that our loved ones be given a full and complete healing. Me Oh. 
If you'd like to rise as the ark is open, and we turn to uh, the Alenu on the bottom of page 586. It will then continue on the following three pages. Alenu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'ateged l'ale yoser v'reshit, Shalom, Asanu Kedayeh Haratzot, Velo Samanu Kemishmachot Adama, Shalom, Sam Chelkinu Kahem, Vegor Aleinu Kapal Hamonam, Banach Nu Korim, Umishachavim Umodim, Lefne Melech Mache Hamlachim Hakadosh Baruchu, Shehu Note Shamayim Beyoset Aretz, Umoshev Yakaro Bashamayim Imaal, Shekhina Tuzo, Shekhina Tuzo, Begove Meronim, Hu Eloheinu Ein Od, Emet Mokinu Ephesulato, Kakatu Betorato, Beyadata Hayum, Beyadata Hayum, Mahashevota El Balaka, Ki Adonai Hu Ha Elohim, Bashama Inima Al, and if you're standing, please be seated. Our thoughts now turn to those who have moved on into the heavenly realm, the spiritual realm. And we ask if you have lost someone in the last week to please rise and say their name. If you've lost someone in the last 30 days, the Shalashim period, please rise and say their name. If you have lost someone or people in the last 11 months, please rise and say their names. And if you are observing the yard site, the anniversary of loved one's deaths at this time, please say their names as well. And if you'll turn to page 598, we will do the Mourner's Kaddish. Uh, once again, as I normally do, I'll raise my hand. Um, if you're following on, along in the text, great. But if I say to Maru and you say Amen, you will get the merit of having said the prayer as well for your loved ones. Yikadav yikadash shemei rabba, be'alma divra chirutei v'yamlich machutei, v'chayechon v'yomechon, v'chayedecho be'y Yisrael, ba'agalav b'zman kari v'imru, amen. Yehe shemei rabba, mevarach le'alam lo me'al ma'ya, yitbarach v'yishtubach, v'yitfa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh, v'yitadar v'yitalev v'yitalal shemei d'kudusha v'richu, le'ela min kol b'yarchata v'shirata, Tish vechata venechem ata da amiran be'elama ve'imaru. Amen. Yehe shalom ar-rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu ve'el kol Yisrael v'imaru. Amen. Ose shalom v'imramav hu yase shalom aleinu ve'el kol Yisrael v'imaru. Amen. May God who is the author of life and death grant eternal rest and perfect peace to our loved ones who have moved on. Those all around the world as well that have moved on into the heavenly realm and those of you that are grieving at this time, we wish for peace within your own being. As together we say, Amen.
And we are going to bless one another with the Birkat Kohanim. And then we're going to close with Ose Shalom. So please, if you'd like to put your arm around somebody that's there with you, uh, or just hug yourself. As we ask, may God's countenance shine upon you, bless you, and keep you, be with you always, and grant you peace. <laughs> He saw Adonai Panavalecha, the Samalecha, Shalom. Came to hear our tone, may be God's will. And we now sing the last lines of the Kaddish, O Se Shalom. May God please grant peace to us all. Yeah.